island was covered by a city, as I said, that was high. It was like up to three stories they were going. All this was happening before the time of Christ. that this city was burned, it was sacked, and it was abandoned. What we got here, I said we are visiting a city, we are visiting a neighborhood that has been excavated. I told you three neighborhoods have been, uh, neighborhoods have been excavated so far within 150 years, so that makes one tenth of what there is, so you can imagine there is another thousand years worth of work on this place, right? Uh, so look at the house. This is not a temple. It's a house of someone. And I like to remind to you that this whole place was all covered with the rubble of the upper stories up to the highest wall. And the columns had fallen down. And while the columns were falling, they were making indentations on the mosaic floors. And please have a look of how a home was in those days. This is a little bit of architecture. There's always this central courtyard in the center, you see, that has a colonnade all around it. This is very normal. And the rooms are all around. Actually, this central courtyard has no roof. It's open air. The roof of the house, which is spanned in timber, would start from the outer wall, would go until the colonnade, and then it would go all around. This is a great city, one of the great cities of antiquity, and I'm saying it had a population of approximately 50,000 people. Now, 50,000 people a city for those days was a mega city for us, because the global population was no more than 20 million people. So a city of 50,000 was just simply a huge mega city. For